Hello and thank you for watching another WP Growth Educational video. Today we'll be showing you how to edit the WP config file in WordPress. Don't freak out. Don't panic. It's going to be okay. It's no big deal. We're going to walk you right through this very simply. This is one of the only main files you will have to edit in WordPress while you're installing it. You're not going to have to learn how to write code. There are just four basic options in here that you're going to have to learn how to work with and it's very important anyway. You really don't want to trust a coder. You know, a lot of people say, well, why can't I have somebody install this for me? It's really no good that you know the meat and potatoes. So what we're going to do here is I'm using text edit, um, actually text wrangler for Mac. You can use text edit, whatever text coder you want. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, you can use Notepad, uh, Dreamweaver, stuff like that. If you're on Mac, you can use text wrangler. Um, if you're not sure, send us an email and we'll tell you. So what we're going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit file, then I'm going to hit open. And I'm going to look for the file. Okay, so I'm going to go into the WordPress folder. And then once I get into WordPress, I'm going to look for WP config. See that right there? And I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to open this up. Okay, now, most people right now might be like, oh my God, there is code. Goodbye, click, end of the video. Or some people might be like, okay, dude, hurry up. Let's just go faster. I already know this part. But if this looks scary to you, don't let it be. I remember 13 years ago when... I was doing this a little like, oh my God, it was so scary. And now 13 years later, it's a walk in the park. So there's basically three things you're gonna need to know for your database. You're gonna need to know your database name, which is gonna go here. Okay, now we have another video that shows you how to create a database. So go ahead and watch that video first if you haven't, and that will tell you how to create a database name, how to create a database username, and also how to create a database password. So you should already have all of those credentials. If you don't, you can always relook them back up inside cPanel, which we will show you in another video. But let's assume that you have your database name. That would go right here. So you would write your database name here, like, you know, admin, and then let's say Joseph was my database name. And then like database username would go here. So I would just backspace my username here. So I could write admin, and then my, if user my name was example, I would write it here. And then my password for my database would go here. Okay, so let's say my password was password, my password would go right there. I could spell password wrong. Okay, so that's my password. So those are the three things. So your database username, your database, or is your database name, your database username, and then your database password go there. Now the last thing you want to do, and this is very important for security, see where it says table free prefix WP? You're just going to add a few numbers after the P but before the dash. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to check that out right there. See where it says WP? I'm going to put like a cursor right there. Sorry, I slowed that down. Put your cursor right after the P. And then just type in a couple of numbers like three, F, five, six, just a couple of random numerals. And that what that will do is give a unique identifier to the database because hackers will look for the WP right there. They'll, they'll know that's the, that's the table row. So you just add a couple of numbers behind it right there like that. And that's to give a unique identifier at the same time. Now you have your database name, your database user and your database password right in those spots. Okay. And that's it, you're set. And once you have this information there, you're gonna hit file, and then you're gonna hit save. No, and then save as WP config, save it to WordPress, and hit save. So I'm gonna replace it because I've edited it, and just like that, that is how you edit your WP config file. This config file is the go between your WordPress files and your database. So if for some reason you get database not found or database error, the problem is in your WP config. Okay, thank you for watching another WP Growth Educational video.